The official .NET 8 just launched yesterday. I'm not going to upgrade just yet because last time I did that so early on was between release candidate 1 and release candidate 2 which had some breaking changes and it prevented me from going to my live production environment on Azure because Azure was still missing the SDK for RC2. So if I now want to deploy to production, I'm going to be a little bit smarter about it and use a globals JSON file to fix the SDK version. So in my project in the root folder, I'm going to make a new JSON file and call it global.json. specify the exact SDK version that I want to target. So the one I'm currently have installed. You can easily see that by running .NET dash dash list dash SDKs. But that's not all. Our GitHub pipelines also have to be able to build with that exact version. So for that, I'm going to the GitHub folder and going to alter all of my pipelines to instead of use this whatever latest .NET 8 version to use that global JSON. So in the setup step, we're going to replace that with global JSON file, global.json. That is the file name. And that is all now the after merging and creating a new release branch, all of the branches are building correctly. And let's inspect the the setup. I'm going to have to check what this warning is but we are running the exact version that I wanted, the SDK version, so that's fine. And then I'm safe to assume that the Azure app service that it deploys to will also use that version and not the latest .NET 8 version. So instead of now sitting around and waiting until the newest .NET 8 is fully supported everywhere in the GitHub Actions on, on the Azure App Services, I can just in the meantime safely redeploy on the current version that I'm working with. And yet it's giving me a nasty bug, something might have changed in the blazor.web.js. Unfortunately, that's not something I can control with the .NET 8 SDK version. And that's exactly what happened between release candidate 1 and 2 as well. Something changed the way Blazor rendered things or the whatever was needed for Blazor. So that's very unfortunate. But somehow that's to be expected if you want to be on the front lines of these release candidates and so on. So I'll make sure to update you in the comment section below if I resolved the issue. In the meantime, <laughs> my efforts were futile since my website is still broken. So I was going to end the video by promoting my Nougat packages by signing up for the newsletter or going through the product downloads, but you can't do that right now. So let's hop over to Patreon where you can find most of my code. So make sure to become a member. And let's give a shout out to all of the Patreon members. Your support is greatly appreciated. It's awesome that you joined. I started this Patreon page with zero expectations, so it's amazing to witness that so many of you are enjoying, liking and find any value in my content. Thank you so much. And I hit 900 subscribers on this YouTube channel, thanks to all of you. 
and the community tab has been also really enjoyable all of you voting on my polls and much more that's also greatly appreciated don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was valuable or entertaining and i hope i see you in the next one